Okay. All right. Um, so, so we're going to uh, try this one again, and um, hopefully we can make it. <laughs> if we run out of mana for using our uh, stone, then we can hop over to our mana rate shrink on zero. And we can uh, gain some mana to use more stone. So I can be, can be very liberal with the amount of stone that I use. The other amount of mana I use, I mean. You get a pretty good uh, mana region stuff. All right, all right, all right. We gotta kill him. All right, we're gonna kill him and okay. All right, we got it. Look at that. We got the firelings far enough away from the cades to uh, not let the cades take any uh, too much damage. Well, that cade took damage, but uh, I think we're okay. Now, most people will tell you, you know, hey, let's try hard and let's just go and, and uh, kill everything as it comes out. And I'm going to say, uh, let's not do that, okay? Uh, let's just not. All right, so we got that kitted off. And now we basically just got to kill everything. Um, try, we can kill everything probably right here. Let me try anyways. <clears throat> we'll just tar here, all right? Well, you can fully block one side, yes. Well, I'll come down here and we'll just kill them all right here. How about that? try and get as many of these guys dead as possible right in this little section and then if we need to we can pop this here beautiful beautiful a little bit of a little bit of um, spike damage and then hopefully okay cobalt you're dead you're dead and you guys are dead okay good 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 now we've got an ogre we've got to contend with so let's Let's get him out of the picture first, and we're not headshotting him, even though we're hitting him through the nose. Um, all right, we'll let him walk forward a little bit then. There we go. There we go. Now we can headshot him. Okay, beautiful. Killed those guys right at the bottom of the stairs. Now we're going to move up. Uh, looks like they actually come out of both sides now. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this barricade right here and then we're going to um oh i didn't bring the wall traps oh we are, well uh shoot nuggets we're gonna put an archer down there we're going to do a couple of these uh that archer should help take out uh, he doesn't have region i wish he had region but he doesn't um or fire actually fire would be fine and he's gonna help take out any of the um orc archers that come out because they're going to target him hopefully i think i don't know and he'll be able to target them no it looks like we have a few going out that way i don't know if i took any of them out but uh anyways we're gonna have these guys coming in which is fine hopefully we can maybe get some tar i don't know we're gonna put uh spikes there if we see an archer we're gonna have to do something about that Like I said, hopefully that archer takes some archer fire from the enemy archers, because they can be a little bit annoying when you when you get them here. All right, so we do have an archer up here. So move back and up, and we're move back again because we're low on health. That's fine. All right, great, good stuff. Now we're just gonna uh, force spike this crap out of this place. Um, and just do another one of those. And I guess while we can, we'll just heal up real quick. Um, by real quick, I mean like two seconds. We need to sell that archer there. Um, <clears throat> of course, we're going to have more fire guys, more fire elementals come out. So we stone them right at the gate. And right before they hit the barricades is when we uh, stone them again, the firelings, uh, so that way they don't blow up the barricades like we messed up doing. But it's okay. And of course, on the other side of this, we're going to put our uh, spike there, and we should get attacked by some archers, but I'm hoping that we're going to be okay from that. We do the, the floor spikes because everything is really going to get frozen uh, in one section, and floor spikes are pretty cheap, and they cover a uh, good area. They are the cheapest trap in the game, from what I know. Yeah, they should be the cheapest trap in the game. And uh, once this wave ends... 
Yeah, this is going. This is going as according to plan. So we're good. We're good now. Even if we lose one of those barricades, we can just uh, you know heal it back up or something. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get some of these and maybe a couple more of these. Maybe another one over here. I still need to sell that archer. I forgot about that. Uh, that one down there. Replace him. But we're at a spot in our life where we can kind of chill a little bit. That first wave is always the hardest one if you don't have stun staff. Because even with the ice amulet, it's it's like this guy's. They're just uh, they're just rough. The rough house, yeah. Now we're now we're in a somewhat comfortable position. As long as we don't get shot down by an, an orc archer, um, we're we're fine. All right, let's pop this. We're gonna heal that barricade up before the next round and put it on cooldown, so it can do its like 20, 120 or it's two forty second cooldown thing. How many seconds through in a minute? Hundred? <laughs> Kidding. I don't remember how many seconds it actually is. I think it's I think it's a full two minutes, but I. Could be wrong. And I forgot to sell the archer again, but I, I forgot to on purpose, okay? Alright. Alright, there we go. Plenty of ice. Freeze everybody. Alright, we got ourselves some fire lords, fire elementals. Hey, look at that. So they got picked up, which is what we want. They get picked up by the gravity pillar, and the gravity pillar kills them. If they if they die at a higher elevation than where the barricade is at, they don't damage the barricade. So gravity pillars work really well for them. Unfortunately, they used to pick up um, the fire, uh, fire lords. No, fire elementals. But they don't pick them up anymore because of a bug. <clears throat> So one day they'll start picking them up again. And then if the Fire Elemental dies while we're getting picked up by the Gravity Pillar, then the Firelings will take its place um, inside the Gravity Pillar. So, but yeah. Floor Spice also help against these Armored Ogres a lot. I mean, Ice just works really well against them. Let's get ready to sell this. Is we're just gonna place a crap ton of them back here. Cool. Easy. And they're just gonna shoot things that walk over here. The archer decrease enemy morale. Yeah, <laughs> basically. I guess we don't get fire elementals every round. Is it every like other? They don't seem to be doing a lot of damage to these heavy fire beams. Oh, well, they do re take reduced physical. They might be one of the hardest things to kill because they take reduced physical. Beautiful. 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 Alright. And that's how you take care of them. And then we just um, put a little bit more ice. Because why not? And uh, maybe a couple more uh, floor spikes. Okay, why not? You could do fire archer arrows and put them down there, like a bunch of them. Um, and then maybe they'll kill a lot of the orcs like sooner than later. But uh, we're not going to struggle with part time using this tactic, so we are totally fine. Hey, let's go. Nice. That's the stuff. More enemies all the way. Cool. Um, oh no, a skull. <laughs> Forever lost. Forever lost. No way, to, no way to retrieve that. As a collector of all things, I, I just want to collect it, but I can't. It's not possible. I 
one of the most beautiful things to watch is watching all of this kind of happen all at once. Okay, and skadoosh. Okay. All right. That, that was actually... I had to use it early because I didn't want the barricade to blow up, even though I have enough money to replace it. I was just like, restart map. <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. Look at that. This is game over. Over, over, over. You're going to uh, put more force spikes down. Because why not? I would never restart a map to get a skull on the outside. Because then you may not get that skull the second time around, you know? I wanted to wait till all the orcs were here and then use number three um, to pop, like, to skadoosh them all. But um, flying orcs are very beautiful to watch. However, um, I had to use it early to regenerate the barricade because I thought it was going to blow up and die. All right, so that one's pretty easy, Master Courtyard. Um, the, the very first wave can be a bit of a challenge if you don't have enough money or if you don't sell everything right away and to, like, you know, funnel everything over to the, to the, to the gate. That can be a bit of an issue too. Uh, other than that, it's fairly easy. So, um, all right, what do we what do we got next? I can't remember what do we got next. Slud shelves. Now this one can be a bit of a uh, a bit of a toughie um, to make uh, part time. I still got a lot of viewers. I, I really <laughs> my eyes are burning right now. I don't know why. I think I've been staring at the computer screen for too long. Uh, you know, at least five hours. Um, plus, I had uh, like I said, I was helping my uh, my father. Um, preach at a church, who, who preaches at a church, help them stream their service live, so I've been staring at that computer screen as well. Um, this is just excuses for me not to play Sludge Shells, because I'm bad at it. <laughs> I mean, I played it on Endless, and I, and I beat it on Endless, I just, I don't like this one very much, it's not, it's not as great as the other ones. Um, one killbox strat on this map? What are you, crazy? There's two gates, or three gates, I can't one killbox it. Unless you're talking about like right on right next to the rift, but that's not going to make part time. You got to split them up. Unless you know of a way to make one kill box. But you got the upper era area and the uh, the bottom area. Um, anyways, go ahead and end the recording. Uh, join me in sled shelves for the next video.